mammals, descended from ancestral mammals, and the triassic early mammals and all of the features that we share. Mammals share so many features, whether they be human beings or egg-laying monotremes. And the reason they share so many features is because the time period over which their common ancestry evolved these features is well over a hundred million years. So during this period, no other lineages have survived other than the three kinds of mammals alive today. So, the features which unite the mammals, some of these evolved during the Carboniferous and Permian through the Pelicosaur reptiles. Some of these evolved in the Theropsid reptiles of the Permian period, and some of these evolved in the Cynodont reptiles of the Triassic. Once the first mammals evolved, even more time passed before the most recent common ancestor of the two egg-laying mammals in Australia and the remaining mammals which give live birth. And so, during this period of well over a hundred million years, lots of features evolved in this lineage which are shared among mammals today. During the hundred million years of mammalian ancestry, many changes were made to the skeletal system. In the skull, the brain case became larger and more rounded. A large number of bones were solidified from a smaller number of ancestral elements creating composite bones. So the occipital, temporal, sphenoid, and other bones were created by the joining of smaller elements which were previously separate bones. The lower jaw was ancestrally composed of multiple bones, but one bone, the dentary, became larger and larger until it replaced the others and created a new jaw joint. Some of the ancestral jaw bones were incorporated into the middle ear where they allowed for a greater ability in hearing for the early mammals. The post-orbital bar behind the eye was lost. The lacrimal bone was short. The teeth were modified so that there were different kinds of teeth, tearing incisors and canines, and then grinding cheek teeth as premolars and molars. The teeth allowed occlusion with their matching surfaces. Teeth were only replaced once over the course of a lifetime. There were changes in the vertebral column as well, as vertebral elements solidified, as the first two vertebrae were modified, which would allow mammals to move their heads in the yes and no uh, movements which humans display. The lumbar ribs would be lost, which would allow the lungs to expand further and the diaphragm to push outward on the viscera. The girdles were modified to allow for greater muscle attachment and the gait of early mammals changed from the sprawling gait of reptiles into an erect posture. And so there were multiple changes in the skeletal system in the ancestors of mammals.